he clears you there. What is One this? One piece is going viral for terrorism on Twitter based on a debate around whether Luffy is a terrorist or not. Political commentator Hassan sparked the conversation on this topic with his viral clip on the Trash Taste podcast, but also his Twitter response to Geo. So while this might be off-putting to hear, especially for a lot of anime viewers who just like flashing colors on a screen, even casual One Piece fans can agree that most of the series is politically charged and was intentionally crafted to do so. Hardcore fans can point to the fact that Oda has famous Cuban revolutionary Che Guevara's photos in his office, or that Luffy's father, Monkey D. Dragon, is the leader of the Revolutionary Army with several ties to famous Cuban revolutionary Fidel Castro, like how Dragon's ship is named Viento Granma, which shares the same name as Castro's ship. And as far yeah. as real world references go in One Piece, that's just a drop in the ocean. So this overall debate over labeling Luffy as a terrorist despite us cheering him on through every government toppling adventure is an intentional quandary that Oda wants to confront us with. At what point do we stop cheering or at what point is it considered bad? Well, even in our world, we have trouble determining what is or isn't terrorist terrorism there still isn't a stable definition that let's go dude this is exactly what oh my god this is my dream this is my fucking dream is like having people expand on concepts such as terrorism uh in entirely separate fandoms like just penetrating a fandom and have and busting wide open what the concept of terror is and why it's like a political designation that usually nation state governments that hold on to hegemonic power uh, utilize against uh, people that want emancipation in many respects. Oh yeah, I, I cleared him. Yeah, I cleared that fraud. That's, that's, oh, thank God. Thank God. I was waiting for this moment. I'm telling you, wait till you watch, wait till you get to Wano in One Piece, most politically charged anime arc I've ever seen. Uh, uh, let's get back to this that is internationally agreed upon. Most people attribute terrorism to the criminals who perpetrated 9-11, but did you know that at the same time, Nelson Mandela was declared a terrorist by the United States? Ooh. From 1988 to 2008, he was declared the leader Ooh. of a terrorist organization for at times violently opposing Ooh. apartheid. And for some more context, Nelson Mandela did have armed forces, but he stated that they were forced into violence by the actions of their oppressive government. And the Ooh. ANC apologized for civilian deaths that they attributed to a lack of military training on their side. So while one of the largest arbiters for defining terrorism in our world declared Nelson Mandela a terrorist, he received a Nobel Peace Prize for abolishing apartheid in 1993 and became the president of the newly reformed South Africa in 1994, all while still being declared a terrorist. And you can- People, One Piece fandom looking at Nelson Mandela being like, no, he did it for friendship and for food, man. You're so dumb. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela is not political, okay? Everybody knows he famously did it for friendship and because he wanted fruit, the, I mean, uh, food. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Wait, hold on. Uh, the manga is even more political currently. Wano is a current organ anime. You could say there's always a way outside of violence, which tying back into One Piece, we have seen nations reverse corrupt practices at the peaceful forums at the Reverie, which is basically the fictional equivalent of the United Nations. But most of the time, this won't solve the problem. For example, wait, Parvision, this is him in chat. It's me. I'm trying to get Hassan to talk more anime and One Piece on stream. Love my file. Let's make this shit real. Check my chats. You penetrated me and busted me open. Let's talk One Piece. Jesus Christ. Okay, Parvision. Holy shit. Um, you go to the gym trying to hit a PR. What's the song you put on to get hype? Okay. Why do you have to? You work against me. Why do my mods work against me? We're right now talking about people agreeing with me. And immediately you take it to a place where you want people to immediately disagree. You want me to come out like a fucking freak and be like, oh, I don't have any songs that I listen to. And then everyone's going to be like, oh, this guy. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Though South Africa was a founding member of the United Nations, the only thing the international community really did to denounce apartheid was sanction the Union of South Africa and then kick them out of the United Nations General Assembly. And I love this because this basically reads like uh, this is like anime. This is the anime version of like uh, Gaddafi, GDI, who I love as well, friend of the show. Uh, it, it's basically the anime version of that where it like starts off with one piece and Luffy and then debates you into a, 
a very informative conversation about the political distinction or the political designation of terrorism and how people use that. 1974, essentially leaving them to their own devices. But that doesn't stop the injustices, that just ignores it. And ultimately, it took the freedom fighter Nelson Mandela to be declared a terrorist to end up bringing justice to his nation. Similarly, Luffy is technically declared a terrorist by the world at large. He declared war against a sitting world government that has technically brought peace for the last 800 years. And as Luffy sees more of the world, he starts becoming more intentional with his actions. It might be more- Yeah, quite literally. I mean, I hope there's no spoilers in the end of this, but like, even up to the part that I'm at, I have seen it like you watch silly gum gum kid uh, grow into a little bit of a, a of a revolutionary figure slowly but surely and a lot of people I assume suspect that it will even get more aggressive considering his father you know what I mean who his father is more apt to label him a quasi-terrorist because at the core, Luffy accidentally topples governments for the sake of his friends. But we have to remember this same charming childish mentality is what brought Luffy to Impel Down, where while stopping at nothing to free his brother Ace, he freed hundreds of bona fide criminals, unleashing them on the world. And the same institution that Luffy is opposing is the one protecting the world from those threats. In the end, I think- I also like that he all, uh, doesn't do like, it's not a regular like clear cut, he's the good guy. I mean, obviously, if you don't have any media literacy, you look at it and you're like, of course, Luffy's always a clear cut good guy. But like, if you look at his actions, sometimes they are a little bit more morally gray. And I like that. I think it's great. It's great that he like will engage in a prison break against the one, uh, you know, the, the one world government, right? Like... It's dope. No freedom will be perfect. It will always be a work in progress, but institutions that perpetuate an infallible God complex will find themselves being an agent counter to freedom. Something that is highlighted by the One Piece story, which is why- Wait, why did it end there? Oh, because then it starts? One Piece is going viral for terror. Which is why One Piece is going viral for terrorism. That's a classic TikTok. Um, it's fire. The anime pacing is going to get real bad in a few arcs. Bro, I'm already there. It took me like, it took me like three months to get to where I'm at up to the time skip. And then it took me three additional months to watch one fucking, uh, one part. Fishman Island. Fishman pacing is so bad. It's so incredibly bad. Pacing is much better in a manga. Yeah, dude. Uh, when I'm watching, when I'm watching Fishman Island, like, look, swapping back to subs made it a little bit more bearable. But like, it is so unimaginably slow in many respects. It is so unimaginably slow that. Like, there are very clear-cut examples of just, like... There are very clear-cut examples where... I'll, I'll give you this. There's, a, there's, a, there's circumstances where you're supposed to be reacting to, like, something that the villain is doing, right? But, like, they personally will go back to every single character, including fucking Brooke, and show individually every single character's reaction to it. And it's like... You did that specifically because you want to fill time. I can tell. Have you, slow, have you never heard about Dragon Ball? No, it's very Dragon Ball. It's very fucking Dragon Ball. Like, there's like two episodes where fucking you're running towards your, your enemy. You know what I mean? It's like, what are we doing? I got a Friday Friday meme for you. 